So we have our multimeter here, our Mega MFT 1711. And the first thing that we need to do is to insert our test leads. And we quite simply do that, just select uh, the two, two test leads. It doesn't really matter what colors they are. Uh, the polarity of these won't make any difference whatsoever, as long as you get them in the right connections at the back of the tester. So uh, just for purposes and keep things easy, First test I'm going to do, I'm going to put the red lead in the red connector and the green one in the green connector because this is a live to earth test, so just to keep things uh, standard. So the next thing is to set the machine up on the correct setting. So in this instance we're going to make sure that the, the uh, indicator on the right hand side is in the Z and on the centre the button there uh, I'm going to make sure it says LPE. Uh, which stands for protective earth, so live to protective earth test. Next we'll see up that the display is a voltage and you've got this emblem here which is three low. What that means is that it'll do a three low test. So if you've got RCDs in circuit you'd have to put three leads in there uh, otherwise it would trip an RCD. So what we need to do is press the option button here with the arrows on and we need to find two high. So if we were doing a ZS test and we uh, didn't have an RCD in circuit, we could use the high current test, which would uh, make use of a 25 amp full uh, function test. So I'm setting the machine on LPE, selecting the correct setting, which is too high. And I'm, I'm putting the probe on the live conductor and it's already connected to earth. And as you can see, it's an automatic test and it's displayed 0.14 ohms which that's our ZE reference. Next, I'm putting the earth back into the bar. Uh, this is an important step. Uh, I originally removed it so that I removed any parallel paths as we've uh, got to do that. But when you do the PFCs, it's important to put the earth back in. So I'm changing the clamps over now, uh, putting the probe ends on. And just to show you, the machine still retains the previous test record, so we've got a reference, but I would always write that down anyway. So it's a probe on the earth bar, and one on the line or the live conductor. And again, the machine does the test automatically. And as you can see from the result, it's now we're looking at the top bar, 1.71 kiloamps. Now we're going to do the live to neutral or line to neutral. So I've changed the setting over and it's still on too high. So just swapping the leads in the back and across live and neutral. And this time we've got a reading of 1.8 kilo amps. So that's the highest of the two readings and you just need to write that down and make a note of it.